My favorite part of the hoop shoot is spending time with my family, having fun, making new friends. It's good to meet other people, not just locally. Meeting the kids and shooters. Meeting other kids, and even if they don't make it, like you have to show good sportsmanship. And we always are at each other's rooms. We're always down in the Elks room. I like the trading cards because you get to know them better. I, the trading cards is one of the best things about it. I go to some of my friends' house and I see my card in their room and just think, wow, that is just something I've never dreamed of. I think we had a lot of fun last night with the blankets. But we got, I think it became a competition, how many blankets we were, we're in the lead, you know, how fast do we need to talk, do we need to foster, you know. And then those blankets that were then going to the Veterans Hospital, as we were doing it, we got to talk with all the other people around and got to know them from different regions. It was very fun, and I hope the veterans liked them. With the hoop shoot, she's learning that practicing is on your own. And sometimes that means practicing early, early in the morning. Yeah. Sometimes late at night. Sometimes inside. Sometimes outside. Sometimes in the snow. <laughs> yeah. You have to make sacrifices. Yeah. You know, we've got a party to go to, and you're like, okay, when can I fit this in through there? How long can I get shoot? Where am I going to shoot at today? But you have to decide what's important to you. I shoot about 300 or more a day. Then we'll shoot 10, go, and then shoot 15, and then if we want to, maybe just shoot 25 straight. No, I practice 500 free throws a day with my parents. At one time, I made 207 free throws in a row. And then we'd shoot 10. And then sometimes you, we would shoot 25. And you'd usually beat us. Yeah. yeah. Always. <laughs> <laughs> the hoop shoot has taught me more life lessons than it has basketball lessons. I think it's good lessons for everybody going through it, not just the kids, but the parents as well. It does, it opens eyes to the kids that you can do it. Strive for the best. Don't just set a goal where you know you can reach it. Go, to, go for one that, that will be a challenge for you. Like, just always do your best. Just stay confident if you miss two in a row. Just keep, keep your head high and keep on going. This is awesome. Uh, we couldn't say praises enough for this program. She's learned so much, met so many new people. It's just been wonderful for her. His world went from this to this. His eyes were opened, um, just meeting the other kids and kind of seeing that there's a big world out there. It has opened the eyes of all the kids in our community, what is offered to them, because nobody really took it serious. Well, even just taking these trips, it's building memories, brings our family closer together. It's been a great experience for all three of our kids. They've all three made it to Nationals, and Luke finished off with a win, so we're so proud of him. This program really does give us that block of time to share this experience with John Robert. And it's a memory of a lifetime. Yeah. A memory of a lifetime.